Hi everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's Friday Haul. It's Friday, July 1st. Happy July, happy Friday, happy weekend, and happy Independence Day weekend for all of my U.S. viewers. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful week. Everything is good here. Uh, I got a lot of good crafty stuff in, so I'm looking forward to showing you everything. And yeah, so let's get started. Um, I went to Joanne's uh, I think it was last weekend and they were having some good sales and finally they had the round trip ephemera out. I don't know if you remember last time I hauled from Joann's and I got some round trip things. Um, they were still in the back and the associate couldn't find the ephemera for me. So I ended up just going back and getting it and they had a couple of them out but I just got one and it was a good deal. I think they were 40% off. And yeah, since I shopped in store, I didn't get an extra 20 or 25% off, but still 40% off is good. So this is everything it comes in. I'm not going to take them out, but you could see all the, you know, different pieces that come, come in the ephemera. So I'm glad I have a, you know, a small collection of round trip things, just enough to, you know, make make me feel like I'm not missing out. <laughs> so then um, I was looking around the paper crafting section, of course, and they had, <clears throat> excuse me, some of their papers were on a really good sale. The, the big deal Park Lane papers were $8 and they're normally $19.99. So I thought that was wonderful. And I don't know, do I have any big deal papers? I'm not sure, but it's 48 sheets of cardstock. Uh, includes metallic foil and there are a few of each and this one is called Simple Life and uh, I'm sure it's not new because when the the strawberry decor things came out uh, like earlier in the spring um, they matched this so this probably came out with that so anyway I had gotten like a towel the strawberry towel but I didn't get any of the paper crafting things to match this so I did get a few things at Joann's while I was there this time because I just fell in love with this this mouse with the um, there are strawberries in some of these papers too like you can see this one has strawberries and it's just really really pretty and I only got one of the paper pads even though there were a lot of really cute ones but um, I already cut into this so you might notice some pages missing things like this one but this is the page of cut aparts and there's uh, metallic this is I think it's silver foil it's kind of hard to see in my lighting but really really nice quality paper nice card stock it's single-sided and really pretty sayings just nice quiet you know neutral kind of farmhouse looking sayings and uh, so yeah since there are two I didn't mind cutting into this and I'll show you what I made with this but here's that mouse with the little strawberries and it says life is sweet just so cute and then this page this also has some metallic as you can see and it's black with little wildflowers on it just so pretty and then it comes with the uh, red gingham always you can always use that and this one has like mason jars filled with wildflowers i really like it's just soft and pretty you know and then this one, as I you could see, I used already. It's got like this medallion kind of print, but very subtle. And it's a nice sagey green. So two of those. And then this one has the foiling, but it's not like a solid, the background. It's kind of like, um, I, I don't even know what color that is. It's kind of like an orangey red, but it looks yellow. I don't know, but it's really, really pretty. And uh, it goes, obviously, with the rest of the papers in the collection. So two of those. And here's another, like, wildflower. It looks like lavender, I think. So this will be pretty for backgrounds. Another metallic with all different kinds of herbs. It's got spearmint, oregano, dill, thyme, basil, parsley. And pretty. So I really, you know, who needs more paper, right? But for something like this that's less than half price, I thought it was a good deal. And here's that same kind of like subtle texture in the background, but this one is sagey, sagey green with uh, white polka dots. So just a little bit different than a normal polka dot. Look at this floral, isn't that pretty? It's got really pretty yellow and purple roses and it's got some like, corally like deep coral flowers as well and vines whoops so sorry totally bumped my tripod there tripod tripod 
And then this one I used already. I love this paper. It's like a corally, dark coral paper, more like a rose, I guess. And it's got these little like floral um, images on there with little dots in between them. Nice and subtle. And here's that pretty strawberry print. You can see I cut into it already, but it's got the strawberry flowers that are, they're kind of blue, which is different. I like that. And uh, yeah, just a really pretty small strawberry print. Here's that medallion print, but this one is in like a mustardy butterscotch color. I already took a page that out. Here's some more wildflowers or herbs, just beautiful. If you grow herbs, you know that um, a lot of them have really pretty flowers on them. And the background's like a khaki color, I'd guess. And this one has like, like a gold metallic. So maybe it's all gold. It's kind of hard to tell on some of them, but this one's definitely gold with like a periwinkle blue purple stripe. Here's another black background. And this one has pink and orange flowers with some sage green foliage. And then here's that rose colored with uh, little flowers on it. Just a different palette. This one is like that butterscotch color background with just a, a floral print on it, but just the one color. And then this one is like that uh, floral medallion kind of print, but it's like a uh, dark gray to soft black color. And then this one is just like a textured, looks like, I don't know, a towel or something. Good background page. And then another gingham. This one's kind of like a bluish gray. And then another floral with that rose background. The color's really, really nice and subtle. And then this one is so pretty. I thought it's a layout page, but of course you can, you know, just use the top part, which has kind of a grid on it. And then the background has just a border of uh, flowers and herbs. So, so pretty. And there's that little mouse there. I'm not a big fan of real mice because, uh, yeah, I, I just don't like them uh, outside the house when I'm trying to do something outside and they scare me. So <laughs> uh, if I ever saw one in the house, I would probably freak out, but luckily I haven't, but I don't, uh, I don't like them enough outside. So uh, this one is like a grayish blue border with that gold kind of, yeah, soft gold, I guess, metallic uh, foil. And that's it. So yeah, that's that Simple Life paper pad, 48 sheets, and it was $8. And they had they had another one that I really liked. It was like a, uh, like a birthday one. And I almost got that one, but I thought I would be good and just get the one. So. so that's what I got. And then I got a few other things to match this Simple Life collection. Uh, in the Park Lane section, they had this, this stamp and die set. Oh, sorry. Hold on one second, my microphone cord is in the way. Okay, so this was $2.49, but it was, I think they were all 30 or 40% off, something like that. So it's a nine piece set. So it comes with the die that cuts out this ring and I haven't stamped it out yet, but it's got the flowers and a strawberry on it. So just a cute like wreath of herbs. There's a little strawberry stamp and then different herbs. It's got parsley. Here, let me get a piece of paper so I can show you. Sorry, I should have done that first. Parsley, dill, oregano, basil, cilantro, and there's that little mouse sniffing the strawberry. Isn't that cute? Ah, love those. So hopefully they stamp out okay. And then in that same collection, I got this, which is a sticker sheet, and it's two sheets, 249. Again, it was on sale. And these are clear stickers, which are nice. And I think they're, yeah, it's the same two of the same. So it has all those same images, that cute little mouse and some bees and strawberries and herbs, a couple little words, grow, happiness, bloom, sweet. So I like that a lot. And then the last thing in the paper crafting for this, I got this sticker sheet and this is 25 pieces. I think, yeah, this one is different. So it has this side and this side. So cute sentiments, good for your cards, uh, tags, labels. In every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. Love the strawberries. And again, all those pretty colors. Spring is in the air. Yeah, it must have been springtime this came out. Plants get me. Let your dreams blossom. 
So yeah, I was really happy with those. And oh, actually I did get this too. This is a photo box in the same print and I only saw one of them or else I would have gotten more, but cute, right? Um, and this was, I think this was like $5.99, but it was on sale. So. so I figured I would pick it up and I could put all my things in there. I also got one more thing. Yeah, one more thing from Joann's in the Park Lane section, these gold stars. When I was doing some 4th of July projects, I realized that I had run out of my stars. So I picked these up. Again, these were on sale. All the Park Lane stuff was on sale. And that's all I found for uh, this collection. I don't know if it's the, called The Simple Life, just like the paper pad or what, but if you guys see anything else, just let me know what I should look for, okay? So that was it from Joann's. And let's see. All right, uh, I got a couple things from Zoo Lily. If you remember, like, I don't know, a month or so ago, I picked up that AC cardstock paper pad in pastel. And I really like the paper a lot, so I got two more combinations. I got this one, which is called Autumn, and it comes with, let me just turn it around so I could show you the papers. So it comes with all these solid core colors which would be great for fall projects coming up. And let's see, let me just tell you. All right, 12 by 12, 60 sheets, 20 colors, three of each color. And I have really been enjoying working with these papers, um, the, the other one I have for 3D projects because they're solid core. It just makes life so much easier. And they're textured too, which I love. Um, as you can see, it did come in bent again, and I did write to Zoo Lily, and I said, look, I don't want to refund or anything. I just want to let you know that, you, you know, your packaging has to improve a little because this is the second time I've gotten bent paper. And they said, oh, we're so sorry. Um, they gave me a $10 credit just for, you know, reaching out to them, which I thought was really nice. So, and they're going to take my packaging concerns into consideration, supposedly. So that's nice. And I also got this one and this one is called Spring. So that looks like that. And this one is a little smudgy even, but let me show you the colors on this one. So these are, these are a little bit different than the pastel version. And if you're looking on their site, you can't really tell what the colors are that you're gonna get. So you can always like look this up on Google and um, you know see what the colors are. So anyway, these are the different colors that it comes with, really pretty springy pastels. And I should get another one of the pastel bundles because I've used a lot of that paper pad. But this one should be fine actually because this one has a lot of the same colors, just pinks and yellows and blues and greens and stuff. So uh, it's a good deal on Zoo Lily too because these are hard to find other places. I think they're older. So not everybody stocks them anymore. So yeah, 2016. So anyway, if you're looking for AC cardstock, don't forget to check out Zoo Lily. They're, uh, they're not always available. They come in and out of stock, but if they're in stock now, I will, I'll link them down below. I also picked this up from Zoo Lily. I needed a new one of these, the quick sticks from We Are Memory Keepers. The one that I have, um, the tip is just like all gone. So, and uh, yeah, there's no more in there. So I'm gonna toss this one and my spatula end is all gross. So, yep, I actually I'm gonna throw it out right now. So I'll be able to use this one. So there's that, and that's it from Zoo Lily. Let me just move this stuff and I'll be right back. All right, before I forget, I wanted to show you a project I made with this paper pad. Um, I showed it on my latest KS Craft Design Team video, but it's this little camera here, and uh, I'll link this die set down below, but um, I used the paper from here to make the little Instamax camera and then to make the, the, uh, the photo that pops out of it. Isn't that adorable? And you can make it into a shaker like I did. And I just love the red and green and white theme. And I added some black just to add a little, a little depth to it. And I think it came out so cute. So, and you know, I love strawberries. So anyway, wanted to show you that. Just gonna plop that on the floor. Okay, next we have, let's see, KS Craft. Um, you know I'm on their design team, but I do order stuff from there as well. So. I got this paper pad, which is called the Strawberry, and I have used some papers from here already, but let me show you them. There are 
uh, 12 designs, two sheets each, which is really nice. So it comes with, um, oops, see, yeah, I used this one already and that one. But uh, it comes with nice polka dots. And this is nice cardstock. Not super thick, but um, gingham, strawberry flowers on a blue background. It's nice to have some blue in this collection, too. I like that. And there's that strawberry print. Two of those. And then this strawberry one with the blue stripes in the background. Anything strawberries, you know I am signed up for. I did um, pre-order the strawberry milkshake set or collection from Frank Garcia, so I can't wait for that. Uh, pink gingham, another strawberry print. I like six by six. They're very handy to make cards and embellishments and tags. And here's a strawberry flower with a pink polka dot background. And then this like uh, lattice kind of page with blue. More strawberry print with the pink stripe. Green polka dot with what? Well, green background with the white polka dot. There's the other one, that gingham. And yeah, this one I had used already, which is that one. Super cute, right? So there's uh, the paper pad called the strawberry. I'll, I'll put a link for that in the description box. And then I got another one too. This one is called, uh, what is it called? I don't know, it's just polka dots. So it just says paper pad, but I'll link it as well. Uh, it's 12 sheets of single-sided design, 12 colors, one of each. Uh, I should have gotten two of these because I really want more than one page of each. So next time I order, I'm gonna pick up another one if they're still available. But these are really pretty pastel colors. And I did use some of them already, but um, yeah, look at these. Aren't they nice and soft pastels for um, all different kinds of projects? I love mixing pastels, or sorry, not past pastels, polka dots with ginghams and florals and stripes. They're such a neutral. They go with anything, I think. So yeah, they're all different shades of different purples and yellows and pinks and stuff. So I like that one a lot. So yeah, I will order that again for sure. Oops. Okay, so I got that from Chaos Craft, and I also got a few more things of sealing wax. I got this one, which is like a bronzy color. Haven't tried it out yet. And then one that was very similar, and this one, this one's a little bit more orangey than this one, so they didn't really have names, I don't think. I think they were just numbers. So that one's, a, I think that's a seven, I don't know. I don't remember what they were, but um, anyway, I wanted to get like a brownie, a, a metallic brown color. So I picked both these up to see which would be, which would be better or, you know, like a gold kind of color because I got a new stamp as well. And it's this one, with, which is a little gingerbread face. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out and making some wax seals for Christmas projects. And I think it'll be really cute to outline the, um, you know, the features with different color paint pens. So stay tuned for those projects. All right, that was it from KS Craft. I got uh, a couple of things from scrapbook.com. I picked up the new Distress Oxide from Tim Holtz. This one's called Uncharted Mariner. And it looks really dark blue here, but it's got a little bit of teal to it, which is nice. Um, I like it a lot. I did use it on a project, and that that's going to be in my Saturday morning makes tomorrow. So if you want to see what it looks like, check out that video. But yeah, I like that a lot. And the free gift from scrapbook.com was this like mask, and it's a spotlight circle stencil for an A2 card, and it's by Maker Forte. So this will be nice to use with like ink blending, I think. So that's a good freebie for sure. Uh, the reason I ordered from scrapbook.com is Creative Expressions just released some new Christmassy stamp sets by, sta by Sam Poole. So uh, when I saw the gingerbread, I had to get them. So this is the first one. How cute is that? This one's called CEC 999 Gingerbread Bakes. So it's got all these cute gingerbread images and they're a little bit bigger, which you can see on the back. Let me measure this just in case you're wondering because they're bigger than I thought they'd be. 
So the gingerbread guy is about three and three quarter inches long. So really good size. These would be fun to paper piece, you know, stamp it out on some polka dot or pattern paper and then, um, you know, stamp it out with different papers and paper piece them together. So it says gingerbread lovin' from the oven, baked with love, gingerbread hugs, uh, cookies for Santa. So really, really cute. When I saw this, I uh, immediately messaged Marilyn G. I'm like, I don't know if you saw this, but this is available. And she's like, oh yeah, I ordered her, <laughs> ordered it already. <laughs> oh, too funny. I knew she would love, love this too. And then the other one I got is called Novelty Christmas Mug, CEC 1000. Oh, how cute is this mug? You know, it'd be so cute to add one of these faces to it. You can make it a snowman or a gingerbread. Um, and then there are the toppers too, like a whipped cream with marshmallows and sprinkles on whipped cream and a cookie, a straw, candy cane. And then there's a separate little gingerbread guy and you could decorate it with this as well. It says a cup of cheer, warm winter wishes. There's a separate marshmallow gingerbread hugs and candy cane kisses and some steam too, which you can use with lots of different stamps that you have. So that's what the stamps look like on the back. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I can't wait to start Christmas crafting. So this one, the mug itself is about three and a quarter inches, not even, just a little over three. Of course, if you add a topper, it'll be bigger than that. So I can't really see how wide it is, but uh, about three and a half probably. So super cute. I love this gingerbread guy just as a standalone gingerbread man. He's less than two inches tall. So yeah, now that it's July, Christmas in July is going to be coming. Yes, or it's here actually. So I could start making some Christmas things. And then I also picked up this one and this was just kind of a last minute uh, edition and I'm really glad I got it. It's called CEC 1001 Angel Bunny. So uh, yeah, it's a bunny angel and she's got a little star with a pine sprig in her pocket. And it's like a little homespun hand sewn heart on the patch. And there's this little flourish here. It says merry and bright. And then you have a stitched star. So really cute. I love all the stitching details. And that's the size of that one. And this one is, let's see, I can't really see the top, but it's about four and seven eighths inches tall and almost three inches across. So perfect size. If you want this to be a feature on a card, you know, an A2 size card, it'd be perfect. So uh, yeah, also fun to paper piece or just color or watercolor. So I'm looking forward to creating with those. So that's what I got from scrapbook.com this week. Um, I got a couple other random things I thought I'd show you. I picked these up from Walmart and these are just regular uh, cutting mats. And these are by Pioneer Woman, which I love Pioneer Woman stuff. I have a lot of her kitchen things. I actually have some uh, shirts and dresses by her <laughs> and a pair of shorts too. So anyway, this is a set of three cutting mats and I usually use ones like this in my kitchen, but I thought I could just add these to my craft room and you know just to protect my surface when I'm working on it. Um, I do have self-healing cutting mats but I thought this would be good just to use for other kinds of projects besides you know not just cutting but gluing and things like that. So and they're really cute because they have different floral patterns and colors on each size. This was like 12 something for the three of them. So I picked that up and then from Target I got this caddy and I already put all my well some of my glues in it. Hold on one second. Let me reach over and get it. Oh, it's kind of heavy. All right. So there's this spinning caddy and all the sections are removable. It came in, well, it came in this white one. And then I think there was one that was like a white base, but it had different color blue inserts. I don't know. They were just still stocking it. So I'm not really sure. This is part of like the new back to school set. Anyway, let me, I saved the label in case you're interested. Uh, it's called Spinning Caddy. It was $5. That's a DPCI number in case you want to look that up and see if your target has it. But this is a great size for my glue. Um, I have other glues, but these are the ones I use frequently. So I just have them on my desk like this and I could just spin it if I need to get to some double-sided tape. I have my Fabri-Tac and 3-in-1 uh, Beacon glues here. My Nubo glues are right in here in the middle and then just some other assorted glues and adhesives. So 
This is really, really handy. And for five bucks, I thought that was a really good deal. So I wanted to show you that. Spins nicely too. And I think that's it for the haul part of my video. Yeah, uh, let's see. I have a couple of crafty updates. I will have a Saturday morning mix video tomorrow, like I mentioned. Um, Adorn It just released some new Diana Markham stamps that are a pre-order. Uh, watch my video tomorrow if you want more information on that and I'll show you some things that you can make with those stamps because I did get some digital files ahead of time just to work with them in advance. So that's coming and I will have my gingerbread quilt video this month, probably next week, just because it's uh, Christmas in July. So I wanna show you my gingerbread quilt and I think that is it, yeah. That's it, my uh, mother-in-law is coming today for the weekend, so I haven't seen her since uh, Thanksgiving, actually. She was supposed to come at Easter, but she couldn't come. But anyway, it'll be nice to see her this weekend. We'll barbecue and just enjoy each other's company. I love her, she's the best, so looking forward to that. My kids are home, my husband, of course. So yeah, I hope you guys have a fun uh, 4th of July if you celebrate. And please let me know what you think. I'd love to read your comments. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers who always leave me such really sweet comments. You guys make my day all the time. And welcome to new subscribers. I know that there are some new subscribers out there, uh, both men and women, and I appreciate everybody. So thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Have a great day. Bye everyone.